guess what, you guys? I just turned in my capstone. Congratulations! Thank you. How'd you do it? What do you mean? How did you finish it? I honestly don't even know where to start. Well. I was accepted into honors my first year at UCR and had no idea what I was going to do with my life other than I was interested in the humanities and wanted to have the best time in college. Then I met with my honors counselor, Jane, and we talked out my immediate goals, my future goals, and some opportunities and clubs on campus that I would join later that year. Then I finally declared a major and started taking my major classes in addition to my honors classes and electives. Even though it was super scary at first, I went to one of my professor's office hours and really started to get to know her because professors are people too. They all were really helpful when I just couldn't get a concept down and just to talk about what they do as scholars. That first year was more about exploring UCR, getting to know myself and what I really was interested in and how the people around me can help me become the best version of myself. My second year was about my solidifying my capstone project now that I had a better idea of what my interests were. I stayed on top of my honors classes and electives which were super helpful in really narrowing down my topic and made myself question why I wanted to do this research, helping me have a grasp on my purpose and completing the capstone and why I applied to honors in the first place. I still only had ideas running around in my head so I took some time to brainstorm what I could do and began to look through other people's capstones from past years and it gave me a sense of what my project could be like. In fall of my third year, I took HMPG 150. Even though I already knew what my interests were, it really opened my eyes to what other majors were going to do and informed my research process. It also motivated me to finally have a specific project for my capstone. Everyone has to have a draft of a proposal at the end of HMPG 150 and a good idea of who their faculty mentor will be by the time they start HMPG 151 in spring. Then that same fall, I met my faculty mentor. She teaches for my major, but I had never taken one of her classes. In HMPG 151, it is a much smaller classroom compared to 150. You can choose a section based on the discipline of your capstone, but you can enroll in any section since all sections provide you with the information you need. So, during the spring of my third year, I went over to my mentor, gave my capstone project proposal form, which is on the website by the way, and after some revisions, she approved and signed it. I gave it to my 151 professor, and Dr. Cardulo had to approve it too. With the help of my mentor, I created a timeline so that I could finish my capstone in time before that next spring. Finally, my fourth year. I had taken all my required honors classes, took the GRE, and began to apply for graduate school, all in the fall quarter. I stuck with my research and my writing, taking it all a little bit at a time. I made an appointment with the ARC, and they helped me out a lot with my grammar, sentence structure, and just overall writing style. My capstone was getting there. Also, make sure to cite your sources. After formatting everything correctly and double checking with my honors counselor that the formatting was all good, I sent Jane an electronic copy of my capstone. Part of the capstone requirement is the oral presentation. You can present at the UCR Undergraduate Research Symposium in the spring. You also have to send in a proof of presentation. And now we get to today, sixth week of spring quarter of my fourth year, the day I turned in my honors capstone project. So here we are today, the day I turned in my capstone. Oh, that sounds a little intimidating. Honestly, if I can do it, you can do it. 
just make sure that it's something you truly love. It doesn't even have to be, you know, from your major like mine was. It's the capstone's really for you and for your own benefit. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's really worth it.